Your Postgres database on Neon can automatically scale based on your application's workload. You can set a minimum and maximum compute size and resources will be dynamically allocated. No need for over-provisioning or manual resizing. And today, we're doing a deep dive on how it all works under the hood. Broadly, our algorithm looks at three metrics, your average CPU load, your memory usage, and the current working set size of your workload. Based on each of these metrics, the algorithm determines the amount of resources required to meet the demand and uses it to produce a goal size measured in compute units. Each compute unit is a quarter of a virtual CPU and one gigabyte of memory. We then scale your compute up to the maximum of these goals to ensure your database stays performant, all while respecting the minimum and maximum limits you've set. But more than that, it's worth talking about how we get these metrics and what scaling actually looks like. We have a few different channels for metrics. Every five seconds, we collect load average and memory usage through metrics request to the VM from the component we call the autoscaler agent. The autoscaler agent is where the scaling algorithm lives and is also responsible for the full scaling process. Inside each VM, we also run a component called the VM monitor, which pulls Postgres's memory usage every 100 milliseconds. When there's spikes in memory usage that would otherwise be too quick to react to, it requests immediate upscaling from the autoscaler agent. And finally, because we use a custom resizable cache, we're able to estimate your workload's working set size. We use our cache to analyze how the number of unique pages accessed changes over time. We have a novel algorithm for this, which we described at length in a recent blog post, so check it out if you'd like to learn more. But at a high level, we scale to fit your working set in memory, which ensures stable performance even as your workload fluctuates over time. Beyond the individual metrics, though, how does scaling actually work? We run our computes in Kubernetes with a custom resource and controller. This is how we provision virtual machines with support for in-place scaling and live migration, all without interrupting ongoing queries. We also run a custom scheduler that uniquely understands the resource usage from our VMs, in part because they currently exist outside the standard resource bounds. Our scheduler can also actively rebalance the cluster in response to load on any individual node. So what happens when the autoscaler agent decides to scale up a VM? First, it requests approval from the scheduler to make sure that there's enough resources available to scale up. After approval, we update the VM object in Kubernetes, triggering our controller to ask the underlying QEMU instance to add resources. Currently, that involves hot-plugging more CPUs into the VM and increasing the size of the vertio mem region used by the guest. And then, once these new resources are available, we ask the VM monitor to increase the size of the cache used by Postgres. We do this from inside the VM for security because it requires directly connecting to Postgres to update the setting. For downscaling, it's a similar story, but in reverse. First, we decrease the resources and then inform the scheduler that we've done so. This is to make sure that the scheduler always gets the worst case view of resource reservations, just to be extra safe. And that's it. This was an overview of how Neon's autoscaling works under the hood. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the Neon Discord.